Hi, I'm TDG Payne, bringing you another tutorial, and today I'll be showing you how to set up the Hophog HDPVR with the XSplit Broadcaster. You can download the XSplit Broadcaster right here, but I'll put a link in the description. Before we go any further, you're going to have to make sure that you have your Hophog HDPVR installed correctly. If you need help installing it, you can click on the annotation on the screen right now. After you've downloaded XSplit and installed it, just open it up and you will see a login screen. If you don't have an XSplit account, you can just click this link right here and it will bring you to a registration page. Just fill that out and then after you're done with that, log into XSplit. And if you want, you can click Remember Me and Log Me in automatically so you don't have to log in every time you open XSplit. To stream with the Hophog HDB VR, you're going to have to have Total Media Extreme open, so we'll just open that up. Now we don't want Total Media Extreme taking up the entire screen like this, so you just put it into small, small window mode. But if you notice, now it's too small, and you it seems like you can't adjust the window. But all you have to do is click Alt and Space at the same time, and this drop down list will come up. Then click Size and hit left or right on the keyboard and you'll be able to adjust the size to what you want. That's a good size. Now place it over in the corner, just like that. Now go back to XSplit and click Add Screen Region. And now all you want to do is select around the window in Total Media Extreme. And then you'll have it on XSplit. To make it full screen in XSplit, you just drag it like this. You can drag it any size you want, and just like that. And if the XSplit window is too big, see it's kind of showing itself on the stream, you can click View, View Scale Point, and I usually bring it down to 50. You can just bring it off screen like that, and there you go. Now you're going to set up your stream settings and what website you want to stream to. So just click Edit Channel. From here, you're just going to click Add, and you're going to select what website you want to stream to. The good thing about XSplit is that you can stream to so many websites. But for now, we're just going to do Justin.tv. I already have mine, so I'm just going to click Edit. If you don't have a Justin.tv account, you can just click right here to sign up. But then you just enter your Justin.tv information, your username, password, and your channel name. If you want to, you can select a server near you to have a better stream quality. These are the settings I use for streaming with the Hophog HTTP VR. I just use super fast, quality at 10 and 1800 max bitrate. The bitrate will vary between users because um, if you have a good internet connection, you'll want to set it pretty high. But if you don't have that great of an upload speed, you can just set it like below 1000 or at 1000. If you're not sure what your internet speed is, you can go to speedtest.net and test it out. And for audio encoding, just select 44100, 16-bit stereo, and 128,000 bitrate. If you want to record your broadcasts on your hard drive so you can view them later, you can hit automatically record broadcast, but I leave it unchecked because Justin.tv records them on the website anyway, so I can view them later. Once you're done with that, just select OK. Now just go over to General Settings. If you want to do commentary over your live stream, you can select your microphone right here. If you did check automatically record broadcasts, just choose a folder right here to show XSplit where to save your broadcasts. Now hit apply, successfully changed, now click OK. To set your frame rate and your resolution, just click on view, frame rate, and click 30 frames per second. But if your computer can't handle 30 frames per second, I suggest going down to 25 because it still looks pretty good. To set your resolution, just go to resolution, and I use 640 by 360 because that's what my computer can handle. If you have a better computer, you can probably do a high resolution, though. If you want to announce when you're going to stream to your friends on Facebook, just click Announce and select your channel. From here, just select Facebook. To link your Facebook account with XSplit, you'll have to sign in with your Facebook information. Then once you do that, in the text box here, just enter your description of your stream and then hit insert link and then announce to Facebook and all your friends will see it. Once you're done announcing, just finish announcing. Now if you want to manage your channel while you're streaming or look at your chat while you're streaming, 
the best way is just to go to twitch.tv. Twitch.tv is actually just the same as Justin.tv, but Twitch TV is mainly for gaming. So just sign in on Twitch.tv with your Justin.tv information and click broadcast. This is called the broadcaster dashboard. From here you can title your broadcast, change what game you're playing, and view your live chat. You can also view uh, a live video preview of your stream, but usually I turn that off because sometimes it can lag the uh, stream. To view all of this while you're streaming, just put your browser in window mode and bring it to the side. And make sure it's not over the preview of Total Media Extreme. If you want, you can um, just minimize the XSplit Broadcaster or you can do a smaller scale point. So you can just keep it open at the same time. And now you should be all set for streaming. All you have to do is hit broadcast and then select your channel and you will be live. And that pretty much finishes up our tutorial. If this helped you, please give it a like. If you have any questions, please comment or send me a private message. If you want to see how good this streaming setup is, you can visit my twitch.tv channel. I'll put a link in the description. Thanks for watching.